During the Obama administration, former President Barack Obama and current Cuban President Raul Castro came to an agreement. There was going to be an exchange of prisoners held on espionage. What made this significant was the fact for over five decades, the United States of America and Cuba essentially had no diplomatic relations. To get a better idea of the relationship between the United States and Cuba, you must understand geopolitics. You must understand how geography can play a role in how countries relate. Let's start with the Louisiana Purchase. The state of Louisiana has New Orleans. New Orleans has long been a major port city. It's a river city on the far south part of the Mississippi River, and you have an outlet towards the Gulf of Mexico. New Orleans has been ruled by the French and the Spanish. And after the Louisiana Purchase, Louisiana became part of the United States, therefore making New Orleans part of the United States of America. New Orleans would become a major port for the U.S. See, before the Louisiana Purchase, most of the United States population was east of the Appalachian Mountains, stretching from Georgia all the way up to Maine. And the biggest bulk of the population lived in what we know today as the Boswash Corridor. That is a major population core in the United States today. It was back then and it is now. But let's get back to the topic. Louisiana would play a role because being so far south on the Mississippi River, ships could sail from New Orleans to Europe via the Straits of Florida. The next map will show you where the Straits of Florida are. If you look at that map, you see that on both sides of the Straits of Florida. You have the U.S. state of Florida, and then you have Cuba. This is the role of strategy that Cuba has played. Spain had long ruled Cuba for centuries. It was considered a very important part of the Spanish Empire. And with the newly expanded United States of America, the United States of America had some concerns and some fears. There is the fear of the Spanish, and there is the fear of the British. Even as countries that were once ruled by Spain would get their independence and the Spanish Empire drastically reduced, there were still some possessions in the Caribbean, namely Cuba and Puerto Rico. One thing about New Orleans. New Orleans has long been a large trading partner with Cuba up until the Cuban Revolution of 1959. And at the same time, there was a fear. It was a, there was a fear that the Spanish Empire via Cuba could cut off U.S. trade routes there because you have Cuba being so close to Florida. And there was also fear that the British could take Cuba and the British could cut off any trade routes. There was a lot of geopolitical strategy going on, some fear going on, mainly due to the concern of how it would affect business. And so for that, Cuba was highly sought after, particularly by the United States of America. And this is partly, well not partly, this is a big part of how the Spanish-American War started. It was about strategy, it was about, it was a big, geopolitical move. It was the idea of we fear our trade routes being cut off so we're going to get as much control as we can. The United States has long has wanted to seek, seek that influence in Latin America and especially in the Caribbean. In the case of Cuba, a big part of it was about trade routes. It was about 
resources like sugar. It was out of that desire for Cuba to completely control its own affairs that the Cuban Revolution of the 1950s took place. And out of this, Fidel Castro was, would come to power. And then you would have the nationalization of sugar, other resources. And later on, Cuba declaring itself communist. Here is another geopolitical strategy here. Cuba, being 90 miles away from the United States, there was a lot to fear. This is how the battle for the Bay of Pigs got started. The Soviet Union wanted to have influence as well. This was the Cold War. And there was the fear of the spread of communism worldwide. And this is how U.S.-Cuba relations basically came to a halt. You have the embargo being started, and for about five decades, basically, no diplomatic relationship between the two countries. But it's important to understand the role of geography and how geography has played a role in the geopolitics of Cuba and the United States. The proximity of these two nations. You have desire of control over the state of over, no, over the Straits of Florida. You have sort of that fear of who's going to take those trade routes or who's going to place missiles pointed at the United States of America. For that reason, to better, to better understand U.S.-Cuba relations, you must understand geography. I hope you have learned something from this. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe.